What's going on, family? Looks like there's a conversation that needs to be had. Apparently, somebody's serving up some fraudulent burgers in the game right now. Now, we're doing the best and the worst review. We did the best reviewed burger spot the other day. Today, we're about to slide over to one of the worst reviewed burger spots right here in my state. And uh, let's just go ahead and get into these Yelp reviews. I don't know why I keep trying Plan B. Been to a couple of their different locations over the years, Fairfield, West Harford, and now Southington, and the burgers are never anything to rave about. Overcooked, dry, and expensive. You can get a better burger actually cooked the way you want down the road at Hop House. Ooh, that don't even sound good. How are you overcooked, dry, and expensive? I mean, jeez. If you're already expensive, that means you gotta serve up one of the best burgers in the hood. Family, this don't sound too good. And that was a two star. How about, wait, this, this next one's a four star. Let's get into it. We were up for burgers and so we went to Plan B in Southington. I've been here several times and it's generally the same experience. Very clean, great service, attentive staff, and burgers never cooked to order. They're good, don't get me wrong. Not great, but good. It's just when they ask pink or no pink, the result is always no pink. Don't ask me then, just bring me my no pink burger. They generally have great craft beers on tap, so I definitely recommend trying one of those. Ooh, must be giving some great stars for the service and the beer, because if they're not serving the burgers cooked to order the way you want them, where are all the stars coming from? <laughs> but it's all good, man. Everybody has different experiences, but now we know the burgers aren't cooked right at a burger joint, in le at least at this location. I don't know. Let's read this next one. Ooh, two star. This was our first time and it wasn't the best. It took a while to get any wait staff to our table. I'd say at least 15 minutes. And then getting just our drinks took even longer. Once we placed our appetizer and dinner order, both came out at the same time. To make it worse, one of our dinners were completely wrong. At this point, we had waited so long and with the wrong order coming out, we didn't want to wait for the right thing, so we just opted for a refund on the wrong item and left. It was a very disappointing experience overall. I'd like to say we would try it again, but that's doubtful, unfortunately. On top of it all, we were sat at a high top, and the bar that you could step on was broken, so our feet just dangled. So after a while, it became very uncomfortable. Overall, not a good experience. I'm not one to write bad reviews, but I'm hoping the restaurant sees this and makes the necessary changes for future patrons. I like that. I like that family. I really honestly believe that's how reviews should be written in a way to break down the experience and a way to break down the food, but to say, hey, listen, we hope somebody at the establishment is checking this out. Somebody's paying attention to this. And then going forward for other patrons, they make the necessary changes to make sure other people are comfortable, to make sure that orders come out the right way. Wow. Out. All right, fam, we're gonna read one more and then we're gonna slide over to Plan B in Southington, Connecticut. Two star. We were not impressed with the burgers. They were dry and they hardly had any mushrooms on them and one sad looking tomato. Very small serving of fries. The service was just okay. $16 for a burger and $8 for beer was not worth it. There are so many other places that serve better burgers now. Family, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I remember going to Plan B in West Hartford years ago. I'm talking about when I dropped my very first show on Travel Channel, Best Damn Takeout. And this was like, like what, like 2013? And I was messing with them like heavy, at least the West Hartford location then. So in 2024, to hear that services changed, to hear the quality has gone downhill, and more so at their Southerton location, ouch. Well, we're gonna go check it out for ourselves. We're gonna go see what it is. Are these burgers really that dry? Or are, are they not even made to order? Are they not cooked to order? Will I get a wrong order? I don't know. Sit back, relax, get comfortable. You know what happens next, don't you? Cue the music. Hello, Nick. It's Poppy. Uh, can you give me a call? Thank you. Bye. Last night was the last time that I saw you. My lifeline every time that I called you came through But last night was the last time that I saw you Alright fam, you know the vibes, we're out here right now at 20 Spring Street, Southern 10, Connecticut 
at Plan B Burger Bar. Now we've read the reviews, heard about them dry burgers, heard about the customer service, heard about them being overpriced. Let's slide to the spot, make it hot, see what they got, see if they've made any improvements since those reviews, because they definitely are responding to people. So let's find out together. Come on. Ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with the American nachos for the appetizer. A double day burger, huh? Yes, it's delicious. Maple aioli is very good. Nah. Yeah, it's sweet. It has a little bit of a spice, but mm -hmm. it's sweet too. It's very good. All right, so we'll do the double day burger. Okay, and then it comes with a side. So these right. come with it, or you can upgrade for any of these bowls. Ah, okay. Tater tots. Okay. Can't go wrong with tater tots. Yes, you cannot. Sounds All right, good. Brand. I'm just gonna take All right, this. thank you, thank you. All right, so they came out with uh, some pickles to hold me down until my appetizer gets here. Mm. These don't even look like no regular schmegular pickles either. These are these joints sweet joints? No, they ain't sweet. They're bitter, but a little tart fart in my mouth. They're cleansing though. They're like that that fresh cleansing pickle activity, right? Like something that you should have in between bites of something. I don't know. It's different. Nachos. Thank you. My name is Megan. Let me know if you need anything while you're waiting for the rest to come right. out, okay? Thanks, family. I ain't even gonna hold you. These came out dumb fast. Like, I literally just put the order in. So as far as like fresh nacho activity, no. But I mean, for what it is, it looks like uh, some house-made chips in the back. So those were probably already made like this morning, maybe. And then they just kind of throw a whole bunch of toppings, like jalapenos on there. Um, look like we got some uh, celery up on that joint. This right here looks a little discolored. Red onion game. What is that, some beans? I don't know what the hell that is, fam. Let's give it a whirl, Bean, because uh, visually, that joint does not look sexy. How y'all got so much going on and it's still so flavorless? I'm getting a little light spice because of the jalapenos. But honestly, fam, these joints is nasty. The house-made chips don't even taste fresh. They might have been house-made yesterday and not even in nobody's house. It's in the shack. You know, the shack made chips. How those nachos come up with? I'm not in love with them, champ. No? Nah. I'm not in love with them. What's going on? The chips? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like the, it seems like the flavor is off a little bit. And, and the chips too, but. What's that? No. Oh. Appreciate the honesty. Yeah, yeah, definitely, bro, definitely. Better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right yeah, definitely. That's how we get better. That's it. That's it. Exactly. That's what I like to hear, brother. That's what I like to hear. You know what it is, fam? That's what I like. I like I like that. Cause right off the top, my man came up from the back, asked about the chips. I, I told him I just wasn't feeling these joints. And he was like, all right, well, that's something we're gonna work on. And then hopefully next time around it's better. I like that. You know what I'm saying? That's real right there, baby. Won't even hold you family them. Tater tots is looking wild crisp right there, you know what I'm saying? Get up in there, get, it, get that close in activity, bong. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and just hit one of these right off the muscle. Golden brown all around. Ooh, girl. no salt, straight crispy potato activity. And if you want salt, you can go ahead and put your own salt up on there. I like these as is. These right here, nice little boot things, fresh potato popping. Definitely on a handstand. Mmm, I'm loving the tater tots here. The double day burger. Let's drop the top on the convertible beezy so you can really see the guts. All right, little bun, little fried egg, but it's like that light fry, you know what I'm saying? Straight eggs, and we got something running on the plug. All right, little beef beef right there, man. Oof, this is that activity burger right here, straight activity, baby. What are y'all thinking, fam? Hit me in the comment section below on this thing. Let's get to it. Mmm, ooh, mmm, yeah, yeah. That burger game ferocious. They ain't even playing around with the burger at all, son. When I talk about the right type of spice, they were able to make up for them American nachos, son. Cause that beef is straight popping. That spicy kick is crazy. And the addition of an egg on a burger with a little run to it on the yolk, I think just kind of kicks up the savory notes on the burger itself. We rocking maple bacon, but it's a spicy maple aioli. That's where the sweetness comes in. And we do have a nice little soft bun, little SBA. This burger is where it's at. Great flavor, great execution. I mean, <laughs> we were definitely gonna order some dessert family because they, this burger just earned that dessert bite. Between the burger and between our tater tots, 
It's dessert time. I gotta get another bite of this one right here, though. This joint kicking. I wasn't ready for the level of sexiness on that, yo. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sweet and spicy burger. All right, y'all. She brought me out the side of the spicy maple aioli. She's like, get one of them banging tater tots, dip it in here. So she brought it out to me. Mmm. Oh. Ooh, shut your mouth and then open it again. Oh, that's banging, yo. I need a jar of this, fam. Again, sweet maple. Just think of sweet maple and sriracha sauce. Kind of mixed together. A little bit of creaminess going on, but that spicy kick is kind of crazy. And then, of course, the crispy freshness of the tater top. Family, I need a jar of this. I might need a tub or a straight busket. Mmm, I gotta do that one, for real. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do for dessert. We'll be right back. All right, fam, so this one happens to be the B cup, which is pretty much a hostess cupcake for dessert that they create. This is kind of the layout with the whipped cream, the chocolate drizzle, chocolate ganache. Let's go ahead and uh, get a spoony piece, and bust this thing on open. I think all it would really need is just some ice cream. Hope nobody's allergic to a little bit of chocolate. Mmm, nice, bold, and cold. A great deep-rooted chocolate flavor on that one right there. A little bit of milk chocolate with some chocolate crumble going on, right? And that's, what, that's what it tastes like, but when you have something this rich, something this delicious, it's just that bite of delight, tasting of uh, like a devil's food cake with a nice creamy center on that. And that thing is tempting. Well, this thing will break you down. If you, uh, if you got the sugar, this is gonna break you down. Don't even mess with it. But again, all the thing I would add to this would be just some vanilla ice cream, but this is banging out the frame. We came, we saw, we conquered right here at Plan B in Southern Connecticut. Let's go ahead and uh, take this thing to Yelp so we can break this down something proper. All right, fam, so we are now back from Plan B in Southern Connecticut. And for our experience, it wasn't as bad as the reviews of which we read. And you know, I mean, look, prices are up everywhere, so for me, as long as the food is good, I don't mind the price. It is what it is on that front. And I think my bill came out to like about $35. They took the nachos off. So I think for everything it came roughly about $35. But let's go ahead and slide over to Yelp and type up my experience at Plan B Burger Bar in Southern Connecticut. After being seated, my waitress came over with a warm welcome and shortly thereafter, she brought up my drinks, even gave a few recommendations from the menu. Now, for an appetizer, I decided on their American nachos. This would end up being a poor decision on my part, for they came out far too fast. Almost seemed to be only three minutes after I ordered them, and so instantly I'm thinking, was this order already made and just waiting for me? The house-made chips taste stale, and the chili was lackluster at best. Had this taste of bland tomato paste mixed with far too much water, and I said, and one sad little bean off to the side. I will say that there was plenty of jalapenos in this dish, but the overall flavor and bite did not work. Visually, it looked bad, and that should have been an indication not to go any further, but I digress. Now, my double day burger was everything, packed with flavor and made with love. Two patties, both juicy and well seasoned, cheddar cheese making for a nice slide on the beef, and two strips of maple bacon for that salty and sweet connection with a spiced maple aioli that was not only spicy but creamy and sweet. Let us not forget the fried eggs that only elevated the overall taste in a double day and something that I would definitely order again. Those crispy tater tots came packed with some fresh potato activity. They were crispy and not overcooked at all. I dipped them into the spiced maple aioli, and the playing field was no longer fair. It took the bite up a notch, and I was a satisfied man. For dessert, I went with the funny bone. Nice chocolate with the peanut butter ganache, creamy and smooth, but I also went with the bee cup, much like a hostess cupcake. Rich, chocolate, creamy, and with a fudge-like consistency. It all just works together. Great job to the team at Plan B on this one. And that's what it is, fam. When it's a win, it's a win. When it's a loss, it's a loss. And they took a heavy L on that American nacho tip. But, I, you know, I wasn't there for no nachos, baby. We were there for the burger. 
And that burger, that double date was right on time. No watch necessary. All right, so please let me know your part of the video that you enjoyed the most, the, the food item that you may have enjoyed the most. Hit me in the comment section below. Slap a thumbs up on the video, letting YouTube know that you need more of these in your life, baby. You know how YouTube be playing their games. All right, so it's your main man, Dame Drops. I greatly appreciate y'all, man. You keep it crispy to the next best and worst food right here in my state. Ooh.